Today, we're gonna be reviewing the brand new James Conrad Detour. It's the newest mid-range in the MVP lineup with flight numbers 55 negative 2, 1. It's supposed to fit in between the hex and the uplink. Currently, you can only get this disc in the Gyropalooza box. Go check out my unboxing if you haven't already. I had some crazy luck there. Anyways, I'm gonna be playing nine holes today at Beaver Fork with the Detour, so let's go see how it flies. So James Conrad says the Detour flies a lot like a beat-in hex, which is what I have here. So that's what I'm gonna test out first to get a baseline. That looks beautiful. By the way, this hole is 350 feet, a little bit to the right. I'll put an arrow there so you can see it. And now the Detour. First throw, this one is 176 grams. So it's not quite max weight. First throw with the detour. Okay. Wow. Yes, yeah, so that's definitely a little bit more flippy than my hex, even my beat in hex. But that was kind of money, I'm not gonna lie. I was actually able to flip that disc a lot easier than I expected. I really didn't even throw it that hard either. Just a smooth hyzer and it flipped up nicely and then just turned over at the end of the flight. That was really, really nice. Well, I didn't quite give it enough power to make it there. I'm about 60 feet short. You can see where my hex landed up there, but I can still knock in this birdie. Never mind. <laughs> Could this be the world's first detour ace? It's just 230 feet over the water. Oh, wow. I expected that right to left wind to help push it to the left, but still a little bit more flippy than I expect. No ace today. This is my first 20 foot putt in about a week. Let's see if I can remember how it's done. Birdie! Now we can give this detour a full rip. This hole is 350 feet straight ahead. I feel like I'm gonna have to put this on a lot of hyzer if I don't want it to flip over. Yeah, I thought I put enough hyzer on it, but man, that disc is more flippy than I expect. And here's a brand new hex for comparison. Just hit the mic. Ha. But yeah, you see how straight that hex goes with some fade? That detour is a lot more flippy than the hex. It's almost like a negative three turn in my opinion. While it may be too flippy for me, if you have a slower arm speed, it may be a money mid-range to go straight for you if you're a beginner. The distance wasn't bad, it was just way too far to the right. Another 50, 60 footer here. Oh my gosh, what was that? We're only one down through three right now. It's time to get back on the birdie train. This hole is 270 feet in the middle of these trees. I'm gonna do my best not to flip this thing over this time. So much hyzer. All right, I didn't flip it over. Progress. I had to put it on like 50% power there, but it still glided straight for days. Really? This detour definitely takes some touch if you want to throw it well. So I'm going to test my touch and my gap hitting ability on this hole. It's 450 foot par four. Just need to keep it soft and smooth. Like that. I hit the gap exactly what I wanted right down the middle. Again, I barely put any power into that, but it still glided for like 280 feet. You can get some easy distance with this disc. I'm gonna go for a little turn over here. I'm gonna aim to the left of the basket and see if the detour will just glide right. Maybe throw it in for an eagle. Wow. I, th I threw that way too far. That thing is so much more glidey than I expected it to be. Holy cow. Well, at least I threw the shot I was trying to throw, but way too far and now I don't have a putt. I need to get a birdie soon. This is bad. I'm actually gonna disagree with James Conrad. This does not fly like a beat-in hex. This flies like a mid-range glitch. I think I'm finally gonna get another birdie as long as I can hit a 15-footer. Well, this isn't a 15-footer. Where was that glide this time? Ah! Oh! Bro! Somehow I've only birdied one out of the first six holes. Guys, I really, really want to like this disc, but it is just not working with me right now. Just 320 feet. You can do this, Kyle. Maybe not. Dude, anytime I put any sort of power on it, it just turns way too much. 
We might have a putt though. Well, this was actually a lot better than I thought from the tee. Still a 25 footer though. I made one. Woo! I take back what I said. I love this disc. <laughs> Look at the tunnel shot we have here. This should be just what this disc was made for. Now, can I throw the shot? That's the question. No, not really. I actually want to try that one more time. All right, let's see if we can get it right this time. That was better, but didn't get the flip. Oh well. Gotta try to throw this in for the video on forehand. No, no, that was dumb. That was really dumb. Circle two to save par through the trees. Ah! I thought I had it. I'm just not putting well today. And now I'm back to one down with one hole to go. This hole's 450 feet. It requires a big backhand turnover. The most important thing when throwing a turnover is to give the disc enough height. That way it has enough time to pan out and fade to the right. I think this disc will be perfect for this shot if I throw it correctly. Yeah, that looks good. Maybe a little bit inside, but it flew just how I wanted it to. Well, I ended up too short to get the birdie. But I think this is a good opportunity to try a little forehand touch shot. I don't need to give it a lot of power. Just put it on hyzer and see if it'll float over to the basket. That was really, really good. We might have a birdie look. I'm telling you guys, that thing flies just like a glitch. Well, that was a great approach, but just a very unfortunate landing spot where I don't really have a putt. Oh, my first impressions of the Detour, you know, I think it'll be great for beginner players or players with slower arm speeds. This thing has a ton of glide and it will go straight. When I threw this on about 50% power, it just wanted to glide straight forever. But for me personally, I don't think this has a slot in my bag. When I put it on a lot of power, it just wanted to turn over way too easily, even with a lot of hyzer. It just requires so much touch to throw this thing well. Maybe I'll like this disc more when they release it in more plastics that are a little bit more overstable, but right now, I think I prefer the flight of my beat-in hex. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you haven't already, go check out my Gyropalooza unboxing right here. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.